Liquid IV. Uh, <laughs> uh, one stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV has incredible hydration flavors like golden cherry, pear, strawberry, Ooh. popsicle firecracker. Are you not an American if you don't ask for liquid IV pop? Popsicle firecracker? You know what? I wish I knew a way to get Liquid IV. Oh, you mean to get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code promo code SLOB at checkout? What? Wait, that's what? That's 20% off of anything you order when you use promo code SLOB at liquidiv.com. Remember, guys, that's 20% off anything you order when you use promo code SLOB at liquidiv.com. Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Um, might sound a little echoey. I apologize. Um, I am at an undisclosed location. Son of a... F- Shoot. Dude, I'm at an undisclosed location. I cannot tell you where I'm at. Um, but welcome to the podcast, guys. Welcome to the Slobs in the Pod. I'm your host, Jordan. The only one here, actually, right now. Um, what's up, guy? Oh, f- I, I seriously have to pee right now. Hold on. That's me. That my. That's me coming back from the restroom. So when I do this, uh, so if you guys don't know, welcome back to the Slobs in the Pod. I'm your host Jordan. I already said that. Um, if you guys, I'm at an undisclosed location. Already also said that. Um, I'm just testing out some stuff right now because I'm the only person here. Also, <laughs> already said that. Um, so I'm just trying to look at the camera. So I'm gonna. It's gonna take a while. This is gonna be very cutty edity. I'm also not wearing underwear. And these shorts, I can feel my balls hanging on one side and my d- hanging on the other. So if you see them, I apologize. And actually, I just remembered. I swear, my d- claps are just out of whack lately. Claps out of whack. Dude, I just can't. Anyways, um, no cursing in the first 10 minutes. Remember that, Jordan. Um, hold on. I got to check the camera again. Give me a second. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Slobs on the Pod. I'm your host, Jordan. To my right is nobody because I'm all by myself, guys. Uh, I am in a, once again, I've said this before, I'm in an undisclosed location. And Emil is just going through some things right now. Um, so if you guys can, spam his Instagram, spam his Facebook, whatever you guys have him on, let him know you guys are there for him. And that whatever he needs, you guys will be there for him. Message him, guys. See how he's doing. Um, no, for real, guys, I'm just doing a solo podcast. Um, Emil is just coming back from vacation. He's got a lot going on this week. Um, today is Thursday, July 18th, 9th, 26 p.m. Uh, he's probably at an open mic right now. Shout out to him because he's got a show coming up soon. And uh, so that's why he's not here right now. And that's totally fine. Um, I realize that I have to do what I got to do. I've, it's July. I'm almost more than, or I'm almost half, I'm halfway to the end of the year. Um, I've been doing episode every week and I need to keep it going. I couldn't find a guest. A mill was busy and I totally get it. Do guys do not give him. I'm not saying you guys should go and message him and tell him, like, dude, you're a piece of shit. Like, you're starting this podcast with this guy, and he's trying to really do hard, and, like, you can't be there for him. And, like, maybe you should – don't – I'm saying don't do that, all right? Don't comment on his stuff. Don't tell him how much of a piece of shit he is for not being here. Don't make him feel bad for going to the open mic instead of doing the podcast. Don't do that, guys. I'm telling you right now, do not do that. But I will say – um, this is my baby. This is the slobs on the pod. I am the main slob. I will say that. I started this shit. And you know what? To be fair, I'll say this. It's kind of, I, I like the fact that uh, I honestly didn't think I would ever do another solo episode. I know they're. Ah, oh, God damn, I got to bleep so much out. Bleep it. Ah! Bleep it. Sorry, guys. I have the dogs back here in the back. Uh, never mind. Undisclosed location. You don't know where we're at. Anyways, um, but yeah, so welcome back, guys. 
Uh, sorry if I'm rambling on right now. It's very tough. I, re- I just realized how hard it was to do a solo podcast. Um, but luckily I have some notes. I got some white claws. I got, you know, we're going to start this. Uh, oh yeah. I had a doctor's appointment today. <laughs> I bro, I missed it. I didn't, I didn't go. They've been messaging me since Monday. It's Thursday right now. They've been messaging, messaging me since Monday, Monday. They were like, Hey, just a heads up. You got an appointment coming up on Thursday. Very important. We did some blood work on you. We made you take some pills. Uh, We want to see how everything's working. So you really need to be here on Thursday. Tuesday, they were like, all right, we haven't heard anything. This is all text, by the way. Tuesday, they were just like, you haven't heard anything, by the way. So, hey, just a heads up. You know, remember, you did blood work. You did some pills. We want to see the effects of that. Wednesday, they were just like, hey, we haven't heard from you. You've done some drugs. You, we've done some blood work on you and we haven't heard anything yet. And you have an appointment tomorrow. And then Thursday, nothing silent. They don't care. They, they know I'm not going to go to this appointment and I'll tell you why I'm not going to this appointment. One, because I've somehow forgot out of all those messages I got, I somehow forgot. Secondly, I didn't want to go, man. It's so far. And then C, uh, I was supposed to do blood work on my own time and I never went in and they were supposed to tell me like, you know, how my levels, I just haven't done it. I I'm good guys. Honestly, I went, they did some stuff and they were just like, honestly, like, I don't know, man, you seem, no, they didn't say that at all. They, they had issues. They were worried about me and they were just like, you need to be on. And I was just like, I got you. Yes, doc. I appreciate it. Um, and I just didn't follow up on it. So what what are you gonna do? Um, real quick. Before we continue this episode, I will say this. I have had meetings with the mill and Sebas. Sebas, by the way, guys, Sebas, I know you guys are giving him <laughs> leave him alone, guys. And I'm just saying you guys are giving him <laughs> no one's giving him. <laughs> no one even cares that he's not here anymore. No one no one makes a big deal that he's not here anymore. No one makes a big deal about this podcast. So anything I say from here on out is just stuff that is going through my mind. And I'm just assuming people are thinking these things without actually telling me. So I'm going to say this. Sebas hasn't been around in a while. He's honestly, dude, guys, check him out. Um, Sebastian Leone, we've had him on the, he's been on the podcast. I've been on his podcast. Um, I think he's taking a little break from that. Um, he's heavy into his videography, photography, and he's doing an amazing job. I'll put his stuff right here. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to say this, like he's, he's, he was helping, helping us out for a while. And, uh, hold on. This is for Sebas. Sebas crack. Pussy. So yeah, so, so Sebas is doing his thing. Check him out guys. He's hella busy, bro. Hella busy dog. He's He's puro firme, dog. He's got the photography. He's got the videography. He's a professional, dog. So check him out, guys. And I'm not racist for doing it a Mexican accent because, hello, I'm Mexican. I know it don't sound like it. I know it don't look like it. I know I've gotten this multiple times. I look Filipino. I look Asian. I look anything Islander. I look homeless. I've gotten all those things, guys. I get it, all right? But I am Mexican-American. I was born in Arizona, but I my parents were also born in Arizona. <laughs> and their parents were also born in Arizona. Their parents' parents were born in <laughs> Mexico. So in the long run, sorry I'm very burpy, guys. I've been taking White Claws lately. I'm done with beer. Actually, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I'm not done with beer. I just had a beer like earlier, but I'm mainly going on White Claws. If I can, I'll try to stick to liquor. Um, I've been going on. This is a tangent. I'm going on. I'm going to go back. Um, but I recently been going on runs and I'm not I'm not trying to make you guys feel like bad or something. I just I I, I felt like a fat piece. Of you know, I know you guys think I look healthy. I know I look ripped. I know you guys assume like if I take my shirt off, I'm just going to be like shredded like a pack nips hard as hell shoulder boulder boulder shoulders you know what i'm saying but i'm not that guys i'm not and i don't want to be a phony i don't want you guys to assume that i'm something that i'm not because i don't want to portray that i'm something that i'm not so what i'm telling you is 
I've seen myself without my shirt off, obviously. Actually, I try to avoid mirrors because, you know, I I have an idea how I look. And I just like when I walk by when I'm just like, ugh, naked mainly. And uh, so recently I just I've been going on runs a mile or two round this undisclosed area, my house. <laughs> um, and so, yes, I've been I've been working out. So going back to that, I've I had a beer today earlier. Um, also, I heard this fun fact and I could be wrong and I also could be an alcoholic, but I heard that. After a run, it's okay to have a beer. One beer, guys. Not a fucking, not a big old beer, not a, not five, not ten, not two, one. A beer is fine after a run or after like a certain workout because it does some bullshit. I don't know what it does to your body, but I read that one time and I was like, okay. Just like one time I was in this class and this guy was like, oh, you know, I drink a, red, a, a glass of red wine a day because it's good for your heart. I drank a bottle of red wine a day because I heard I was like, I just assumed I was like, if it's good, if it's if one glass of red wine is good for your heart, imagine what a whole bottle will do. <laughs> imagine what a whole bottle would do. This guy's taking a fucking glass of get the fuck out of here, dude. Uh, okay, so that going back to the beers, I had a beer. Going back to the seltzers, I'm drinking seltzers now because I feel like it's a little healthier. Um, and so, yes, going back to the run. So yes, I'm going on runs now, so I'm trying to be healthier. So I assume I don't want to, I don't want to feel, uh, bloated. I'm, I'm, I, I, it's a uh, Thursday. I started running on Tuesday. I got these new shoes and I'm just going to say this guys. Um, I don't know where you're at in life. If you want to get healthy, I don't know what you have to do to pull it out of you, but I'm going to say this, a fresh pair of shoes or like a fresh outfit, like a workout outfit, like you can't clearly, you clearly can't go out to the club with it. You can't go to Walmart. I, mean, I guess you could go to Walmart with it, but like you want to mainly look good, like working out, get a clean outfit, get a great pair of shoes that you're just like, even if, dude, even bro. Okay. I'm going to say this. I'm a cheap person. Also, I don't have a lot of money. So like, I just like buy what I buy. Right. So I want, I've been wanting these shoes. They're uh Nike, um, They're a pair of Nike shoes, all right? I don't really care for Nike as far as running shoes because Nike running shoes are not great for me. Um, I have flat feet. I'm, I'm, a, I'm all fucked up in the feet. So I don't really do that. But these shoes are amazing. They're Nike. Um... All right, hold on. I'll be back. I'm going to cut this. I'll be... when, when I come back, I'll have the shoe. Hold on. All right. So I got these. They're uh, Nike Pegasus 40 or maybe 4.0. I don't know. Guys. First off, these shoes are dope as hell. They look nice. Don't even, don't ask about the comfort and everything, but just right now. First thing, first thing you see, you see the shoe. It's a nice, clean white shoe, mainly white, little gray Nike Swish, little black on the, you know, a black Nike Swish on the bottom. Very nice. Uh, if you look, if you, if you can see on the inside, they have like a, a cute little uh, smiley face with a winky eye, which is the wink is the Nike. Uh, but so I bought these. I've always heard that uh, Nike Pegasus are like a, a good running shoe. They're very expensive. Uh, not these ones specifically, but they're, they can get expensive. Um, if you get like an amazing pair. Oh, also, the heel, the main part right here is very fluffy. They're very light. Um, they're comfortable. I don't get shin splints. I used to always get shin splints. Uh, I don't get shin splints. Um, I have a flat foot, and uh, my foot used to hang off the edge right here. This one doesn't do it. Somehow it keeps it in. I've been running, today's Thursday, July 18th at 9.37 p.m. I've been running since, like, Tuesday, so three days in a row. Every day since Tuesday I've been running and had no issues. I mean, I am sore. I am, like, unfucking. what's the word? I'm, uh, oh, yeah, un, uh, unhealthy or so out of shape that literally – one run, a mile and a half, maybe two, made me, two days later, I feel like I've done, I've squatted 450 pounds and I deadlifted 5,000 pounds. I, my legs are killing me right now. And it's just a run. And I'm not saying I ran straight two miles or a mile and a half without stopping. I probably ran a mile altogether. And then like half of that was mainly walking. So I'm just building myself up. Um, I don't, I, I want to get healthy. I want to get, I want to be, 
I don't want to be ripped. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. Honestly, I'm just running. I'm not even doing push-ups. I'm not doing sit-ups. I'm not lifting weights. I'm not doing curl. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just going on runs. It's if you guys, there's another thing too. We're in Arizona, all right, guys. If you guys are mainly in Arizona and you pay to go to a gym, that's fine. But if you pay to go to a gym and you pay a little extra to go to a sauna, get the fuck outside, dude. It's fucking. It's 110. Run at 4:35. Obviously, I know my body, so I know I can run around that time, and I'm not going to overheat. I've heard some weirdos that, like, they get too hot and they overheat or, or whatever bullshit, pussy shit they make up. But, and and you know what? Oh, I'm going to say this. Emil's obviously not here, clearly. Um, so he would be the, the reasoning to tell me, like, bro, like, you know, some people are built different. And I get that. But this is a solo episode. Remember, guys, this episode 130. 130. That's crazy, guys. Um... So I'm saying this, for me, I prefer to run outside in the sun, in the heat. I work outside, guys. I do landscaping. I'm not going to say where. I'm not going to say why. I do landscaping. I'm not going to say how much I get paid. I'm not going to say who I do it for. I'm not going to say what the things I have to do. But I'm going to say this. I do landscaping, all right? In the Arizona sun, I'm not going to say where either because I want this podcast to eventually be... I mean, worldwide would be dope, you know, worldwide would be cool, but like at least like a, a different city or, you know, or country or something or no, uh, uh, state, I forget the difference between country and state, but so I want this to be more open. So I don't want to specifically say the place where I'm at. And also I don't want to give it away guys. Cause we have a lot of, if you, if you guys are local, hold on. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys are local, you guys know what's up. But if you don't, it's all good. I'm just going to say in Arizona, let's just say Arizona in general. Maybe not Flagstaff and Fresno, like cold areas. But let's just say like mainly Arizona. It's hot as hell. So if you just go outside, you don't even have to run. Just go for a walk. Just stand outside. Literally from my front door. This is an undisclosed location, so I'm not saying I'm at my house. But I'm saying if I was at my house, from the front door to my car, I'm already at least a drip or five is rolling down my body. So what I'm saying is people, I see people like posting like, oh, I'm in the sauna today. It's like, bro, just go outside, go grocery shopping, uh, walk around your block. Don't run. Don't do, don't do anything. Just walk, just stand out there and you'll get some good sweating. So going back to what I was saying, the seltzers, the beer, I drank a beer, but I'm back to seltzer trying to be healthy. I started running, trying to lose some weight. Um, oh yeah, I'm just trying to lose some weight. I just, I won, uh, I think recently I see myself naked and I don't, I wouldn't want to see what I see on myself on someone else. And it wouldn't turn me on is what I'm saying. And I'm not calling no one out. I'm not saying nothing on no one. I'm just saying if what I saw on my body naked on someone else, I would just be like, that guy should probably work out. So I do that to myself and I can do that. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just saying that's what I do. So, um, but also I do have a drinking problem. That's totally fine. Um, and so I just feel like I can still have that problem as long as I just keep it in a healthy way. And I'm going to say this, dude, everyone gives shit on white claws because I used to also give shit on white claws because people would be like, bring, you know, bring a white claw 12 pack to a party or something. And I'd be like, it's fucking pussy. Is that for your girlfriend? Is that for your baby? Dude, a white claw is 5%. I want to say, I'm going to look it up. Uh, Jordan, if you're editing this, cut forward. Um, let's just look up a Bud Light. Bud Light percentage. Bud Light uh, ABV, right? Alcohol B, I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, okay. Uh, Bud Light introduced... Uh, advertise okay. Bud Light is advertised as a light beer with 4.2 percent ABV with 110 calories. I'm gonna say this: a White Claw is no, it's only a little bit different. It's a five percent, but I mean, after a few of these, you're gonna get fucked up. And I understand with Bud Lights, Budweisers, people that drink that Michelob Ultras and all that stuff, they want to be healthy or make uh, Michelob Ultras. They want to be healthy, and uh, they have like a low ABV. But, dude, White Claws, not only 
do they and I'm I'm not gonna lie, there are some shitty flavors. I recently just I'm not recently, but I've obviously I've had the natural natural lime. Natural lime in any seltzer is like fucking battery acid. But they have raspberry, they have pineapple, they have fucking uh peach. Peach is a new thing, check it out. Um but like it's still a five percent, which isn't a lot. Like I'm an alcoholic, so like I love I know it's it's a acquired taste, but I love um IPAs. And I'm down, like, when I go to a, when I, I've said this before, but when I go to a bar, I, uh, I, I don't get a mixed drink because I just assume they're going to skip me out on the alcohol. Even sometimes, the other day I went to Texas Roadhouse, shout out Texas Roadhouse, love Texas Roadhouse, but alcohol-wise, I asked for a, a drink, like, I think I asked for, like, a tequila, uh, no, not tequila, a Jack and Coke. I wanted a double Jack and Coke. They don't do doubles. It's what you get, and, and honestly, I drank it, it just tastes like Coke. And maybe it's just in my head or maybe it's just I'm such an alcoholic that I need more that it didn't do nothing to me. So after that, I just got beer and I went straight to Blue Moon, which Blue Moon, I think, is like a 6.5 or something. And I, I can go on and on with these beers, dude. I'm such an alcoholic. I know what I need to get where I need to get to, if that makes sense. All right. Hold on. So I'm going to say this. I know a lot of my tios, tias, my cousins. Everyone in my family, if I bring a 12 pack of seltzers, specifically White Claws, to a party, they're going to give me shit. But at the same time, fucking, I mean, not that I'm saying it's going to be more than a Budweiser or a Bud Light, but like it's going to be very similar. So I'd prefer to get the same buzz or drunk off a bunch of these White Claws where I don't, I do feel like bloated, but in a way where if as long as I burp or you know, farted out. It, it's just gas. It's, it's it's air that's filled in my body. Budweiser Bud Lights, bro. I have a fucking. I'm I'm fat. My face gets and then all the sodium in the Bud Lights. I don't know how much sodium is in a White Claw. And honestly, I could be wrong. Don't listen to me, guys. Everything I'm saying. So okay, let's just do this real quick. Uh, nutrition facts: One serving uh, calories, 100 calories. Total fat, zero percent. Sodium. 20 milligrams, which is 1%. Total carbohydrates, 2 grams, which is 1%. Total sugars, 2 grams. Includes 2 grams added sugars, 4%. Protein, of course, 0%. So I'm just going to say, I'm, I'm, and I'm not trying to be healthy. I'm saying this, guys. I'm not saying this is what you need to do if you want to lose weight and be healthy. If you want to stay an alcoholic, you still want to keep drinking, but you don't want to stop drinking. I'm not saying do this. I'm just saying this is for me. I know my body. I know that if I just fast for a couple days, or my bad, a couple hours, <laughs> just fucking starve myself for a couple days, uh, and, and, and if eventually I want to have fun, what I do, what you have to do, is uh, I used to do this thing that was very bad. Like, let's just say 2014 to 2016. I used to do this thing where I was I was shredded, dude. I was a I was a young twenty three year old shredded as fuck, and uh, I would go on fast where I would just be like, also I would go on fast to lose weight and look ripped, but also I wanted to hurt. I wanted to take a shot of something and just go from zero to one hundred, and that was just fucking me, and I was fucking crazy. Now I'm. F I don't know if you guys know this. I know you guys assume that I'm probably like. I don't know. In the comments below, let me know what you guys you guys assume my age is. I'm not going to say my age. I know I just said it, but I'll bleep it out. Hopefully, I remember to bleep it out. Um, but I don't I don't know what you guys assume my age is, but I'm going to say, at my age now, I uh, I bounce back pretty good. I'm just going to say that. But anyways, going back to the other thing, I just hate that people hate on White Claws. Like, if I was to bring a 12-pack of White Claws to my Theo's house, he would give me shit and call me gay and faggot and midget and all this all these other derogatory terms that we've talked about in the past days which midget, midget we'll go back to um because we had that in the last episode with jair dagaldio and uh but i'm just gonna say guys uh this makes me feel good i also yes i'm an alcoholic so one two three four i'm at three right now i probably have a buzz maybe maybe i could definitely get behind the wheel right now i could go shopping I could fly a plane, um, but like three more of these, probably I should not drive, you know, is what I'm saying. But hold on.
So yeah. So what I was get, okay. So running. Oh yeah. So I'm recently I'm going back into running, trying to work out and stuff, and so I still want to keep my times where I drink, and uh, I think I'm just gonna be a little different about it and keep these seltzers and i love them dude i love them and and you know what i'm gonna say this again this might be the title of the episode but i have no friends or at least i don't have people that i that, that want to hang out with me or that invite me out no I'm, I'm cut that cut that cut that I, I sound like a bitch i sound like i need someone to oh dude you want someone to hang out with you i go i'll hang out with you get the fuck out of here no i don't i'm not saying that i'm just saying i don't i don't hang out with a lot of people so this is what i like to do at home when i'm home alone and uh, we can get into the next subject because at this point, um, I told you about my drinking. I had a doctor's appointment today. I missed it. Oh, and by the way, um, this is episode 130. I'm by myself. Next episode, I'll have a meal. I feel like we should just go off the same list of notes I have because it's very hard every week to come up with notes for the podcast or like interesting things to talk about or whatever, whatever. So I'm saying this for this episode. Because a mill wasn't available, and um, I was being lazy, and I just couldn't find another guest. Uh, I'm just going to do it. Uh, I'm doing this. All- I've ever said this. Fuck! Um, but yeah, so I think a lot of these are going to be a lot of questions, less answers, and maybe the next episode with a mill, there'll be all the answers with him, and he can you know help me in. Because I just realized how hard it is to fucking do a solo episode. Or may, you guys let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Am I, is this great? Is, do you guys like this? <clears throat> what? I was also thinking, I haven't talked to Emil about it, so don't tell him yet. But I was also thinking maybe, God damn, it's very gassy. I was also thinking maybe uh, every now and then, maybe once a month, we do a solo episode. Maybe I set up the camera for Emil and he just goes off on a tangent like I've been doing. And he just does his thing and I cut it up for him. And then every and then I do an episode where myself and then we do the majority of me and him and then a guest or whatever it is. Um, but let's get into the next thing, dude. Um, this is something I want to do and, and uh, we're going to do karaoke, guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, recently we did a episode like a couple episodes back and um, and uh, we did some karaoke music. Me and Emil, we did Yellow Card. We did. um I don't know what else we did, but we check out the past episodes and you guys loved it. So I want to do something by myself because I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm home alone. Um, the girl and the baby, they're gone right now. Um, they're staying at her parents for the night. So I'm home alone. So I'm just recording in an undisclosed location. I'm going to say my house. And uh, so I just think it's a great time. And honestly, I also live in a house where like my walls are paper thin. I tested I tested this theory out the other day where I played some like music very loud and I went outside to go take the trash out and I could clearly hear my TV playing at 10% or 10 on the volume level. So I can only imagine how loud I sound right now. But uh, I'm going to say fuck it. And we're going to do a little karaoke by myself. And I hope you guys are cool with this. And I hope I don't get taken down from this because it's a karaoke version. But we're doing Maroon 5's uh, She Will Be Loved. If you, Oh, also by the way, guys. I'm on YouTube right now. There's a TV behind you. You guys can't see. But uh, there's ads, dude. Has anyone ever seen an ad and been like, I want that? I need-. Like, has, no, I'm not saying like you've been thinking. Like, maybe you've been thinking about, thinking about buying a car or something. And then you see an ad for a car and you're just like, that's a car. No, no. I'm talking just like you just see ads on like YouTube or Instagram or whatever or like wherever the fuck they also play ads. And you're just like. Actually, I would, that sounds like a great, I've never done that. I've never seen an ad or heard an ad where I was like, that's something I need, you know? Um, So I just, I wonder, let me know in the comments, guys, below. Have you guys ever um, seen an ad and just been like, I want that, actually. I didn't even know I wanted that, and now I do, because I just seen this ad. Anyways, guys, we're playing Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved, karaoke version. I'm not going to play the whole song. I'm going to sing the best I can. Let's do this. I hope. I really hope I don't get banned or like... It, let's see what happens. And maybe there's no music. All right, let's do this. All right. I really hope this doesn't get banned, guys. Beauty queen of only 18, she... 
had some trouble with herself. He was always there to help her. She always belonged to someone else. I drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door. I've had you so many times and somehow I want more. I don't mind spending every day. I sound shitty. Out on your corner in the pouring rain. So bad. Look for the girl with the broken smile. Ugh! Ask her if she wants to stay a while. And she will be loved. And she will be loved. Tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make you feel beautiful. I know I tend to get so insecure Doesn't matter anymore It's not always rainbows and butterflies It's compromise that moves us along Yeah My heart is full and my door is always open You come anytime you want Yeah I don't mind spending every day Out on your corner in the pouring rain Look for the girl with the broken smile Ask her if she wants to stay a while And she will be loved Okay, I can't do this, guys. I fucking love you. Mm. Done. All right, guys, that was the... Uh, that was the, the the karaoke segment of the podcast. That was terrible, guys. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried my best. And I realized when I'm singing in the shower or in the car and it's at level 30 plus, I sound way better. And when it's just isolated vocals of myself, it's fucking shitty. So I apologize, guys. I hope I didn't distort your speakers. I hope I didn't blow a speaker. I hope I didn't blow your headphones. And uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm just, that was fun. That was fun. Should we do another song? I mean, I only, I only plan to do Karaoke Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's do, uh... <sighs> no, nah, I think we should call it. No, no, let's not, let's not, let's. <laughs> Next episode, we'll get a mill on, and, and we'll do uh, some more songs. All right, guys. Uh, next. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, I don't know if you guys seen my shirt. Um, it says, not every dad is sus, but I am. I'm going to tell you the story behind this shirt. My dad got me this shirt. My father got me this shirt. And he sent me a picture and he said, whenever you have time, come by the house. I have a shirt for you. And he sent me a picture. And I was like, in my head, I said, why would you get me that shirt? Because clearly I know, I know what, su if you guys don't know what sus means, sus is a uh, suspect. Um, I'll give you a direct uh, definition of what sus means. But my, I'll, I'll tell you right now. So sus definition, uh, sus. Adjective, informal, giving the impression that something is questionable or dishonest, suspicious, uh, relating to or denoting a law under which a person could be arrested on suspicion, sus, of having committed the offense. Um, he was picked up on sus. I don't know what the fuck that means. Anyways, more, mainly people use sus when it's like, I don't know, maybe your homeboy's like, damn, that boy, that that dude over there is pretty tall. Like he's probably got a big dick. You're going to call that man sus. The guy that said that you're going to call him sus. Um, my dad got me this shirt, not knowing what sus meant. And to be fair, he didn't know it was sus. He thought it said not every dad is Seuss. He thought it was a Dr. Seuss shirt. Dr. Seuss cat in the hat. 
fucking uh, what's the um, one fish, two fish? That Dr. Seuss, that guy. So he thought it said, not every dad is Seuss, but I am. So he assumed that this shirt meant that me as a father, shout out my, shout out Ollie, my boy, he thought as a father, I would wear this shirt saying like, not every dad is Dr. Seuss. He's not cool. He's not a rhymy and shit, but this dad is, he assumed that. He literally, I'm not, I swear, I know you think I'm making it up, and I wish I was. I wish I was. But my dad thought that it said Seuss. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Even when he told me, I was like, Dad, that's a good one, but you're joking, right? No, he seriously meant it. So I just, I saw it on my notes, and I was trying to explain my shirt. Anyways. Mm. Side note, I've always said this. I never had the opportunity to mime it. But I've always said, as a man, you have some things like in your body, like, or not in your body, but like you have some positions, your posture, where you're like, this is kind of gay, like I should probably sit up. I've always had this feeling when I have like, when I, I don't have them anymore. I wish I would. I wish I had friends that would have sleepovers with me. Anyways, um, but I remember as a kid, or like maybe high school, I used to go over to my buddy's house and have a sleepover. I remember he would, you know, he'd let me sleep on the couch, and I remember I would lay in bed or I would lay in the couch and he'd give me a pillow and a blanket. And I remember I used to watch TV and I used to be like this, where I used to, you know, hold my hand or I used to do this where, hold on. And like, I just knew, like, obviously I was in the living room. I was in the living room by myself, but it's the white claws guys. Oh, but um, I just remember, like, sitting like that, like, with my hands in between my legs. I used to be like, man, this is like, if I, if, if somehow my friend woke up before I did and he saw me on, the, on his couch that way, he would assume I was, like, into guys or something, you know? I'm not going to say the word because apparently I can't say midget and I can't say faggot and I can't say gay and I can't say the N-word. Like, I, whatever. I don't know what the repercussions are, but. So he would assume that I was like, oh, man, my homie that I brought over, like, is a little sus. Callback, great callback. So I I just remember now, like, being on the couch, like, I just remember, like, that was something I always thought about. It was either that or, like, you know, like, you do some things where, like, you just sit on the couch and you're just, like, watching TV and, like, even, not even that. Maybe even, like, I think it's, like, mainly a girl thing. Because I can't, I don't, I can do it, but, like, girls do this thing where they put their leg up or or if a guy does this it's kind of weird but like if you like put your legs on the couch i don't like both legs on the couch it's fucking weird um i'd rather lay across it but like people that do this and like watch tv mainly guys like bro sus <laughs> Seuss. hey sorry if you guys hear the dogs in the back once again on this closed location so ignore hey keep it down Anyways, um, next up, like I said, from here on out, it's going to be like a fire blast. Like, I don't have much to say about this. Once again, next episode, next week, uh, we will have a meal on uh, the Rizzly Bear. We can't say that. I'm going to bleep that out. And uh, we'll have his take on it. But uh, if you guys don't know, the, um, they had the, uh, the baseball game, the national um, – <sighs> I'm breathing so hard, guys. I'm so freaking fat. I'm so fucking fat. All-Star game. They had the MLB All-Star game, guys. And um, uh, blah, 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 blah. National Anthem. No, National League. No, the National. Cut this, Jordan. If you're editing, cut this. Okay. Here we go. So if you guys don't know, recently uh, the MLB Major League Baseball uh, had the, um, uh, home run derby. And this is where, if you guys don't know baseball, or if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, M- major league baseball, baseball, um, has a home run derby where actually they have the, um, uh, they have like the all-star, they have the all-star game where it's like the best of every 
the best person of that team gets put on this team and they play against the American League and the National League, all this shit. And then they have the Home Run Derby, which is every player in the Major League Baseball. I think it's like five or uh, I could be wrong. I don't know the actual rules. But they have like um, certain guys that have been hitting home runs throughout the, t the season. And so come this time around this time, July, uh, they have the, the Home Run Derby. And so there was the uh, Home Run Derby National Anthem singer going to rehab after drunk performance. But was it the worst rendition? Um, I'm going to say this. I listened to it. It was very terrible. It was actually really bad. It was kind of embarrassing. Um, I, and and as, as a patriot myself. So I, huh. um, I'm a little offended. But at the same time, I'm also very offended because uh, let's see if we can play this. Let's see if we can play. Um, here we go. This is, and, and, and by the way. I've heard this multiple times. I didn't. I wasn't able to watch the home run derby. I I only pay for the Padres games. So go to MLB.com on fucking your app or MLB app, and it doesn't play everything. You have to have cable, or you have to have direct. Or you have to have all this bullshit. It's so fucking complicated, dude. Anyways, I didn't watch the game, but I did watch the uh, national anthem of this game, and it was very terrible. And what I am about to play right now is not. I, it's, this is not making fun of anyone. This is not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything to make this person sound bad. This is exactly what, if you were at the game live, this is what you heard. So here we go. Um, July 15th, 2024. Here we go. My dog is tripping right now. Get. Cut it. Cut. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, guys. So if you guys. Listen... <laughs> Hold on. I fucked up. See, I can do this because I'm sus and I'm not a fucking singer. But so, that, OK, that was uh, that was the national anthem. And uh, so to continue, um, people were clearly the other players that were, you know, had their hats off over their heart. They were clearly laughing at her. Uh, it was very terrible. But um, let's see. Hold on. So she made she made a point to later on say she apologizes to the MLB to everyone else to the US of A for singing so shitty. She says that she was drunk. Uh, let me see her final statement. Um, oh come on, dude! So many ads. Jordan, cut to this if you can, because people don't want to see you struggling, and they don't want to know the behind the scenes of so good. -ish. All right, she said. Okay, she said, 
I'm not going to bullshit, y'all. I was drunk last night, she wrote on social media. I'm checking myself into a facility today to get the help I need. That was not me last night, she said. I apologize to MLB, all the fans, and this country I love so much for this rendition. Uh, I'll let y'all know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. Let me say this, guys. I Okay, I know she fucked up something so amazing that, like, 99.99% of everyone in the country is going to get upset about. Or, if anything, they're just going to be like, damn, like, we can get anyone better. But look, girl, let me tell you. Um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Ingrid. I guess she's a country singer. I don't know. Singer Ingrid. Oh, sing Ingrid Andres saying, okay, uh, Ingrid Andres, if that's her name, um, girl, hey, it's fine. We get it. I mean, this is what I'm going to say. Yes, you did sing it very terrible, like really bad. Like, like it made my stomach hurt. My ears were hurting and like, it's really bad. But girl, if you were, I get it. You're not only singing in front of a thousand or thousands of people, you're singing for the all-star baseball game, which is a lot of people in the stadium, a lot of people viewing on TV. I sound like Donald Trump. No, I could never do that. Don't say that. Um, but you, uh, yes, you fucked up. All right. But, and, and yes, maybe you did get too drunk to sing this. But I get it. I've had these times where I've done stand up. I've done the podcast where I just like, I'm like, I'm not feeling myself. I'm not comfortable. I'm very nervous. I'm thinking about too much. I'm, uh, maybe I'm not funny enough. Maybe, uh, this podcast isn't going to go great. Maybe the set that I've been working on for stand up is not going to go great. So I, I need to maybe have a little drink or maybe smoke a little weed, whatever it is. She did the same. It, it was, it's a big platform for her. And I totally understand if you needed some drinks to, she, just to get herself out there on the mic alone, she needed some drinks, I'm sure. And maybe she went a little too far, and that's totally fine, and she's saying a little fucked up. But, girl, you don't have to go to rehab. You don't have a drinking problem. You just had one night that just so happened to be, like, a big, the, one of the biggest nights of your life, and you kind of fucked it up. But it's not a big deal. You're not, you're not an alcoholic. You don't have a drug problem. You don't have to go to... Uh, uh, rehab because you fucked up so bad. It's not a big deal, girl. I mean, you're fine. You're fine. You, it, uh, I'm going to say this. As the players on the team, it's not a big deal. Yes, it does mean, like, something because, like, they have, like, you know, different teams playing against each other, but like, or, or, or the home run derby, but that means a lot to them, but it's a time for baseball to relax. You're, you're the Padres aren't playing the Dodgers. The giants aren't playing the Dodgers or, uh, the Yankees aren't playing the White Sox. It's not that serious. It's a fun time. It's almost like, it's almost like when NFL has like the pro bowl, it's not a serious game. It doesn't mean shit. If you win or lose, it doesn't matter much. If you, it's all fun, man. Everyone goes there to have fun. The All-Star Game, everyone goes there to have fun. You went there to have fun. You got invited. They were like, you sing beautifully. And normally you sing great. And we want you to do the National Anthem. And maybe you were just like, holy shit, there's a lot of people going on. It doesn't matter, man. Like, I'm just saying, you, didn't have, you don't have to go to rehab. And I could be an alcoholic because I'm over here like, ad, I'm, uh, what's the word? Advocating is like when you want something, you're like pushing towards it. Maybe what's the, I don't, uh, I don't care. Like I, I, you don't have to go to rehab. All right. I, I, I I'm going to say this as an alcoholic. Uh, maybe if like I, I, I'm, I'm broke because I'm also, I'm all, always spending money on alcohol or I'm hurting people. I'm not hurting anyone. I just, I like to have fun. No one's here right now. My baby and my girl, they want to stay the night at her parents' house, and they want to go to a birthday party. So I was like, I'm going to have some drinks. I'm here with the dogs. Bonita, can you come here real quick, or are you just going to lay there? Bonita. I have my dogs here. Gorda, come here, Gorda. They're usually back here in the cage, but I, I'm, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just having a good time. I'm doing a podcast. I... 
I'm hanging, <laughs> I'm hanging out in an undisclosed location. Not a big deal, guys. Girl, you fucked up a little. It's not a big deal, man. You, you I, I get it. I've done that. I've, I've gotten too fucked up to where by the time I get on stage to do stand-up or I do a podcast, I'm just blabbering or just not making sense. It happens. You have to find a balance between you can get a little buzz, but not too much and, and just figure out your way. But I just, I don't like the fact that she thinks she has to uh, check herself in a rehab. Uh, and I could be wrong. And, and by all means, if I'm wrong, let me know below in the comments. But I'm not, I'm just saying like, I don't, I don't think rehab is always the answer. Maybe sometimes it's just like, I fucked up that night. You know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to take a little chill pill, but I don't need to go. I don't need to go to a, a place where they're going to be like, you can't have your phone. You can't smoke a cigarette. You can't drink alcohol. You can't watch TV. Like, I don't know. It's just like, no, man, like just take a break or something. I don't know. Or it's not a big deal. Honestly, I'm rooting for this girl. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we got a few things up coming up and I don't really want to get too far into it because we've been going long enough and I shouldn't have gone long this, this long by myself as a solo podcast. I'll just bring in some, uh, topics and I'll give a real quick brief on how I feel about it. And then, um, what next episode when the milk comes on, we can dive deeper. Uh, I should have brought this up from the very beginning, but Trump was almost assassinated guys. Um, uh, I don't. It doesn't matter if it's Trump or Biden or anyone, anyone trying to run for presidency. It's fucking crazy that someone hates someone so bad that they want to murder them. They want to kill them on live camera. Like, I, and, I, and I'm not very, I'm not political. I'm not telling you. I mean, I guess I, I'm down for Trump and I'm going to say why. Because when I was in the military, Trump was president and at the time, it was like, whether I voted for Trump or not, I was in the military. So whoever it was, if it was Trump or Biden and Biden became president while I was in the military, as much as I don't agree with what he says or I don't agree with what Trump says, whatever that person, the chief, in command, chief of command was in charge, then I just do what they do. So I, I had no say and I've never, I don't judge anyone. Anyways, I don't want to get into it, but it's fucking crazy that. Donald Trump almost got assassinated. That's insane. Um, I'm just going to say that. I'd, maybe we can get more into it when Emil comes because he, he's, the, he's the voice of reasoning. And uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't want to get into it too hard. Um, next question. Why do we call it a blow job? If you don't blow, you suck. So I've always wanted that. You know, I don't know. I don't know why they call it a blow job. I've always said this. I want to say since like eighth grade. I've always told my buddy. I was like, why is it called a blow job? No one blows on your penis. No one, guy or girl, doesn't put their mouth on your penis or you don't put your mouth on someone's penis. And you don't blow into it. You're not trying to blow it up like it's a fucking balloon. You suck, if anything. So I'm just going to say here from, from here on out, if you're a fan of Slobs on the Pod, I say we call it a suck job. I, I think it's cool. I think it sounds better. I think an SJ sounds better than a BJ. Um... It also makes more sense. Suck job, dude. You suck the dick. You don't blow it. You don't blow on it. Um, real quick, new theory. I believe that people who have four plus kids, if you have four kids and more, if you have four, at least, at least four kids and anything, you could have four or five or 10 or 15, but four is the cutoff and up. I feel like the dad, low-key, has a pregnancy fetish. Because I just assume, like, maybe he's just very, he's very into only having sex with pregnant girls. And the only way he can stay with his wife or be with that person is if he constantly gets her pregnant and is just like, oh, fuck, yeah, dude. She's, she's, she's about to burst. I, I, I got to help her out. I got to, I got to fuck her while she's fully bloated. Like, and by no means, like, I'm. I mean, I don't mind having sex with a pregnant girl, but I'm just saying uh, my girl being pregnant. I'm, that's what I meant to say. I don't mind having sex with my girl while she's pregnant, but I'm just saying if it happens multiple times, I just, ha I, this is, a, this is Jordan theory. Don't count, uh, uh, count out a mill. Doesn't matter. I'm just saying, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a pregnancy fetish. Uh, um, 
You know what? I'm going to end it there. I have more stuff, but uh, next week we'll get into it with, uh, with Emil when he comes back. But guys, I love you. Um, thank you for tuning into this episode, all 20 of you or 40 of you. Courtney, I know you're listening. I know you're watching. Shout out, Courtney, guys. Please check her out on Instagram. I mean, I don't know if she wants to be followed, but she's a homie. She's always, she's always reposting our shit. She's always messaging us. She's always giving us in, uh, uh, questions. She's the homie, guys. Uh, I don't know how you feel about this, Courtney. Um, maybe next episode I'll actually put your stuff out if you want me to. But, guys, I love you. Thank you guys for tuning into another episode of The Slobs on the Pod. Hashtag, or uh, not hashtag, but like take away the S, not plural, just singular, singular uh, just slob. Um, Emil will be back next week. I promise you that. If he's not, I'll murder him. I will murder him myself because if he's not back next week, then I might as well just kill this whole podcast because without Emil, it's nothing. All right. I love you guys. Make sure you guys tune into another episode of Slob on the Pod next week. Uh, go to the YouTube. It's The Slobs on the Pod. Go to Apple Podcasts. Go to Spotify. Um, Google Podcasts. Just type, literally just go to Google search and just type slobs on the pod. It'll come up. Guys, follow our Instagrams at Jordan underscore comedy if you want. Uh, Adam Mill comedy uh, if you want. And you know what? I love you guys. Emil, I love you. If you were here, I love you, dude. I love you. I love everyone, man. I love this podcast. I know we're at episode 200 or 130 and I'm not, I'm not stopping anytime soon, guys. I love you. We're out guys. We're out. Play a, hey, play the song, play the music, play the music.